hard and just go hard and just you know give, leave it all out from the field on every day. So that's what that's what Coach Wilson preaches. That's what we try to follow every day. How different is it for you playing this year, getting those reps last year, and I mean, what's changed for you? I feel like um, I get a little bit more playing time. Oh, uh, I've gotten bigger. You know, I'm around 288, but um, got a little faster. Work with Bayless, just trying to get ready to help the team out. You know, just any way I can contribute to the team. I've been working the O's, a little bit of three technique, just playing everywhere, just you know, trying to contribute to the team. You know, it's about the team. So. Coach Wilson said that your stock is high. What do you think he means by that? I mean, do you feel like that your your game has gone to a, to another level? I really don't know. Coach Wilson says a lot of things. I guess that, <laughs> I guess that means I'm doing well. I guess it's good to hear. You know, you know he says he's on me. You know, really bad. You know, really hard. And I just try to listen to him and keep pushing myself. And he's a great coach. One of the best coaches I've ever seen. You know, been around and you know he can he can get in you. You know what I'm saying? He get he gets to you a little bit, but you know he pushes you the right way. Yeah. And you just got to work hard with him. I love him. So. Good. Yeah, you're one of I think like three guys that didn't redshirt last year. And a lot of people talk about the benefits of redshirting, but what kind of benefits do you think you got from, from playing right away? Hmm, the benefits I got from playing, I think like I really actually know the speed of the SEC. You know, some guys you see it, but it's different when you're out there playing it. And you know, the crowd is loud. You know, you gotta be focused in. You know, the focus, the speed, and just being locked in. It's a whole different dimension from high school. It's just speed, the power, you know, guys, you're playing, you know, I was coming out of high school, 18 year olds, I'm playing against guys who are 23, you know, 24, those are grown men, really grown men, and it's just, it's just a bit new experience, it was great for me, you know, I got beat up a little bit, I did, <laughs> but it was a learning experience, so. What's it? I forgot to ask you, but how nervous were you before that Memphis game? I mean, you got to start, I mean, it was, it was weird. Oh God, man! I, there was a thousand things running through my mind, I was like, man, what am I going to do, how am I going to get off the ball? Man, like I hope I don't mess up. I'm just I just went out there and just started playing football, man. Just I calmed down. Those first couple of plays, I was a little nervous, and I was like, okay, you know. But it was Memphis. So what really woke me up was Auburn. You know, I went against <laughs> a real SEC team. I got kind of smashed in Auburn, and it woke me up like this is a real SEC team. So, so is this everyday normal business now. You getting fall, you getting in fall camp. Is this kind of just. Normally relax, take it easy, kind of be a one-off. You know, every day we just, you know, got to take one day at a time. We can't look down the road. So we're trying to do it during count. Uh, Just keep working hard. Can't look forward because, I mean, if you just really look, you know, along into other weeks, I'm like, dang, I got to go in two days, got another two days. How am I going to make it? If you just take one day at a time, you'll be okay. What's it like for you to look at guys like, Quay and, and Nick and say I was that was me last year. I mean, how much do you help them or how much they? You know, I don't know they got older guys to ask for advice, but you were in their shoes just last year. I mean, how much do y'all talk about that? Uh, I talk to him a lot. You know, Nick James, he's my uh, locker mate, so I just sit there and he asks me all a bunch of questions. You know, how do you do it, PJ? You know, how do you go so hard? You know, just I'd be like, man, it's a mindset. You got, I just try to pick both of them up because it's rough on them. It was rough on me last year. I didn't think I was going to make it. <laughs> I didn't go a lot, but Cox, you know, he was a great roommate. He was my uh, roommate. He, you know, he pulled me up. It wasn't for him. I probably wouldn't have been there. He pulled me up every day at the hotel. I just tried to do the same thing for a young guy because I know I was, I was in their shoes just a year ago. I used to try to stay positive and uplift him. That's about it.